The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In this episode of Little Miracles, Alexa's chance to walk and Mika's heart surgery. Six-year-old Mika has arrived from the Philippines with her mother, Minda. She has a hole in her heart which requires major surgery. The procedure is unavailable in the Philippines. This is Toronto. Different, no? So, my daughter is so lucky. During surgery, a bypass machine allows surgeons to stop Mika's heart as they patch the hole. This procedure involves serious risks. The main risks uh, involved are to do with the actual bypass machine. A little bit of air can end up being sort of drawn into that tube or sometimes even a small clot so the blood can clump together inside that tube. If that clot goes up and travels to the brain, then basically that means the child can have a stroke after surgery, can have uh, results such as blindness, weakness, or uh, failure to move on one side or the other. Now, did you have any questions about the surgery for Mika? Three-year-old Alexa has cerebral palsy. She is unable to walk. Doctors will cut 50% of the sensory nerves leading from Alexa's spinal cord. Hopefully, this will lessen her leg's muscle rigidity and improve her chances of walking on her own. How are you? Can you say hi to Barbie? I don't want to see you then, You don't? How about you do some games with me instead then right now? Would you like to do that? that sounds good. You know what I get to do? I get to see how strong your legs are. <gasps> and you oh, can show right. off to me how you walk. Oh yeah. Do you want to do that? All right. Let's get your feet nice and straight. And she you're going to hold the mommy's hands. The Botox therapy. Yeah. Oh, when uh, did she do that? In April. Wow. And so how many injections did she have? Just the one. OK. Yeah, I just want so to see. So it pretty sort of, much uh, should have worn off by now. Oh, yeah. Good. Very good, sweetie. Look at mom. I like the range you've maintained in her ankles. Yeah, That's it's that done. That makes such a difference. It, yeah, it should do. We've been working pretty hard on that it. That is fantastic. Can you call the daddy? You can't catch me. You can't catch Don't me. fall. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're very good at that. Okay, let's go and see how strong those legs are, okay? okay. You know what, sweetie? We don't have to do it on here. Do you want to go on the couch yeah. instead? Come on. Go on the couch. Where's the couch? Yeah, the thing is, oh, this is scary. It is. Yeah. Alexa, um, ever since she had a uh, cereal cast. Oh, okay. yeah. Hey, listen. Listen to me. I want to go. You know what? She's just going to check and see how strong you are. I am with you. Oh, you know what? You have to. Okay. You know what? I'll call your physio. And I'll ask her to Where's tell me what you were doing, and I don't have to yeah. deal with you today. Yeah. Would you like that better? All right. Yeah, that, I don't need to put her through that. Okay, that's okay. fine. I'll get the numbers from the center. You know, I don't have to okay. do it today. That's fine. That was close. That was close, was it? <laughs> She looks beautiful here. She's so bright. Look, she's proud. She graduated. Is she quiet? She's just a bit away. She likes to be. She's strong. Yes, she's very she's strong. Mm -hmm. This is the eldest. My eldest son who died. 
And you were telling me the day that he passed on was the day you heard that the Herbie Fund was helping yes. make a... Dave and buried him. Yes. The day after the burial. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. So if you're looking at the size of the hole, you wouldn't have thought it was that big a deal, but her heart is definitely big. There's a lot of flow going through the pulmonary artery that shouldn't be there. And it's not so much fixing your legs, it's making them work easier. Okay. <laughs> Nothing yes. wrong? Yeah, I know. Very cool. Okay, they don't need fixed, right? They need to be yeah. helped to work easier. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hi. Well, hi. Hi, Alexa. Hi. Yeah, that's a girl. Do you have any questions about the rhizotomy that we're going to be doing on Monday? She's um, developing very well and making excellent progress, but this um, excess tone she has in her lower extremities is really interfering with her getting around, particularly with her um, walking. And so the rhizotomy operation, which is an operation on the nerves which bring sensation back from the legs is done on the spine and basically we um, divide about 50 percent of the nerves at each level which are coming into the spine bringing sensory information to try and reduce the tone in the legs but in terms of her underlying motor control patterns and her balance and so on that's not something that this operation really changes okay Right now, it's such a struggle to put one foot in front of the other. Right. And so if it's made easier, then the motor control pattern um, might work a bit smoother. Yeah, it's not that she doesn't know what she wants to do or can't um, initiate the right movements. It's just that her legs can't respond right. because of the increased tone. Okay. When will she start doing physio, like about a week, a week later kind of thing? Or? Uh, no, the physios will come and see her probably the second day after the operation, but they won't be doing very much. They'll just make sure that um, she doesn't lose any significant amount of range and she'll still be fairly sore. Is, is, do you think there's a chance that she is going to be able to, uh, to walk without a walker? Um, well, as I, you know, I think I said to you last time, we don't want to... Um, yeah, the whole thing is, you know, putting her through so much. Right. right. Um, no, she, she appears to us to have all the ingredients um, for independent walking that we can ask for. But we don't want to do the operation um, with the idea that this operation is going to make her walk. Okay, let's go on bypass, slowly. Open your venous a little more. Venous line is open. Okay. Make sure that air goes down. Venous line is wide open. Pick up, please. So it goes not always perfect in its measurement. That's it. So the hole is trying to close. We get the air out of the heart so, so we don't get a stroke. So anytime in the next uh, couple minutes, it'll start up. It's a big VSD actually. It's quite big, about a centimeter almost. And um, yes, yeah. there it goes. It's got a little air in the coronary, so you hold that up, please. <laughs> You ready, kiddo? Yeah, me neither. You all set for today? Nope. You're not all set for today? 
Nope. Hi, Alexa. My name's Sheila. How are you today? Look at that big smile. And who's that guy over there? Did you bring him in with you too? What's his name? Does he have a name? What is it? Will you tell me? What is it? John. Dog. Jacques. 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 Jacques the puppy dog? Wow, he sure looks special and cute. All right, first thing we're gonna do is have a listen to your heart. I'm gonna and use- Jack's heart. Should we listen to Jack's heart yeah. first? Okay. Yeah. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom. Sounds pretty good. Now what about your heart? Where's your heart? Uh, do you know? Is yeah. your heart down here in your knee? Uh, no. No, right it's right there? Yeah. I'm gonna have a listen, okay? Might be a little bit cold. How's that? Is it okay? Let's have a listen. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Hear a difference? Yeah. 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 She's doing really well, and uh, her heart sounds good, and her um, heart rate and blood pressure have been really good overnight. And you know, she's doing so well right now. Maybe she'll be able to go upstairs today to the cardiology floor and, and leave the intensive care unit. That'd be nice, wouldn't yes. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't gotten there, I haven't gotten there. Yeah. So that's great that she's done so well. You tell your papa that Bika is now okay. You just tell to him now that Bika is okay. Yes? Oh, oh sige, bye-bye. Okay. It's not okay, you know. Okay, Peanut. I can't put my eye. What's that? I'm ready. Pardon? Are we ready to go? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mom's gonna walk you to the door. Okay, and then I'll take you, and then we'll go to our special room. And mom's gonna wait in another special room. All right, you ready? You got Pikachu? You have to teach me that name. Okay. okay. She'll be waiting my okay. ears on the next door. Okay. They're waiting, honey. Okay. Please be ready to say see you later. And Dr. Drake has allowed about four and a half hours. That's right. And Dr. Drake will come and see you here yes. at the end of the surgery. Okay. Um, did you get any lunch? You you didn't even eat breakfast, though. Oh, didn't you? <laughs> Would you like to go down and get something to eat right yeah, now? Yeah, I think we probably will. Yeah. Good idea. Okay. Yeah. Mmm, orange. Whoa. Do you like that smell? Is that okay? Let's lie down with the dog. So let's lie down, down on the jello. Lie down on the jello. Very good, Alexa. Very okay. good. Just mostly the legs. Her arms are hardly involved at all. And she's uh, very coordinated. That's I mean, the though, isn't it? When this is available. That's yeah, I mean, it's so easy to do yeah, this, right? And you don't you don't need a fancy stimulator. You can just okay. Here you, here you go, Maria. Okay, L three. Yeah, there it is. There. Okay. Okay, S two motor. Yep. Okay, any bladder or none? None. Okay, okay. just cut this one. Okay, Maria, we're all done. Thank you. Yep.
Ikaw mag ano, oh, hawakan ko tapos sa anohin mo yung ka, ano. Oh. Oh. oh, sige. <laughs> Ilan na yun? Three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, basically, she's done perfectly from the surgery. Everything went uh, just according to plan. And even though the, you know, the VSD was a reasonable size, it was closed with no complications. And if everything's fine, then uh, you follow up with uh, Dr. Nakinen in another couple of weeks before you go, before you go back to the Philippines, right? Okay, Doc. We will see you later. Thank you, Doctor. Bye, Mika. Bye, Sabina. Okay, Lex, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. This is, is this shock? Yeah, okay. See how he has his four little legs here? Okay, they're kinda like your legs. So what we're gonna do with Jacques is we're just gonna give him a stretch like this to move his leg back. Alexa, can you show me on Jacques? Wiggle your toes. No, yeah, she's yeah. upset. It's just, you know, every touch she associates with pain at this point. One, I'm going to count to ten. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay, okay. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. But you know what? You're going to get too stiff if you don't do some stretches, Alexa. All right? Remember what? You know what Vivian said? You want to be able to ride your bike next week? I know, I know. We're going to leave you alone in just a couple more minutes. Mika came over from the Philippines and had on November 3rd an operation at the Hospital of Sick Children. And as you can all see, she's just doing wonderfully. She had a five-hour operation that I, I hear within two days she was up and laughing. <laughs> and the most wonderful part of it is that through the funds raised by Operation Herbie, we were able to bring her over and have an operation that just wasn't available in her home country. I thank you so much. I appreciate very much for this uh, help you have extended to my daughter. And we will go back home to our country with much joy for this. And we will always remember forever what you have extended to us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mika made a full recovery from heart surgery and returned strong and healthy to the Philippines with her mother. Daddy gone. Oh, there he comes. Oh. Over there. Over there. Oh, it's, I, I can't believe it. I can't even believe how, um, how much looser her legs yeah. feel. And just, uh, yeah, she just, she feels so different. It's yeah. great. Wow. Okay. Yeah. One more stretch. Okay, sweetie. Here we go. Yeah. My finger's stuck. Yeah, give me my finger back. Where'd it go? All right, Alexa, look at that. Look at that leg move. Give me that. Is he mine? He is. Good girl. Look at your knees bent. 
show you. And show your friends how you can stand up already. And I'll show you that. Whoa, are you ever tall? Let's see here. Look at you standing on your own already. Alexa goes to a school at the Bloorview Macmillan Center that attends to her special needs. Alexa, are we ready now to go to your bicycle and then to therapy? All right, let's go stepping along. And you are doing so well that I'm sure that in the next few weeks we're going to see you walking. Her intensive physiotherapy continues and her walking improves daily. A few more steps, you're nearly at the bicycle. Her parents remain hopeful that she will soon walk on her own.